Good morning everybody and uh, I'm talking to you this morning from a very misty, foggy but spring-like southern Britain and uh, my YouTube video this morning is going to be sort of fairly short and straight to the point. What I'm calling in is a global downpouring of the cosmic diamond violet flame. Now many of you will have already have heard of this energy and for those of you that haven't it's a higher facet of the violet flame which came back to us in 1987 during the harmonic convergence now the reason why i am doing this is because as many of you will know whether you are plugged into the media outlets or not there are situations on this planet which predictably have predictably have been escalating as patterns of behaviour, as patterns of 3D behaviour, which have been rumbling on in one way or another for the last 10,000 years or so. Everything is kind of coming to an apex, it's coming to a peak at the moment as people are kind of basically in conflict with the activation of their fifth dimensional heart centres. And we are seeing the kind of exacerbation of these third dimensional patterns of behaviour. We're seeing things literally coming to the surface where they can no longer be ignored, where they are up for release. And it's from these points onwards that we start to see the real change. But we've got to get through this particular period at the moment. Now, on several occasions previously, I have kind of called in either via Facebook or just personally large global downpouring so the cosmic diamond violet flame now this energy is used to release and alchemize pockets of very dense energy and it works okay now the first time that i did this was on the 7th of july 2014 and uh, i put a message out on facebook during the day saying look everybody in you know who's in connection with me from around the world Please add your energy to this. Wherever you are, call in Archangels, add Kyle, call in the Angels of the Cosmic Diamond Violet Flame, um, invoke Master Saint Germain, and everybody get involved. Everybody put your, put your bit in, do your calling in, anchor that energy in wherever you are, and watch the Violet Flame pour in on a global level. Now, it was later that afternoon that I was sat in Diana's conservatory, this is when she lived close to me in West Moors, and <coughs> we were discussing this particular event during the course of the day, and all of a sudden I noticed around me that there were dragons literally made of the cosmic diamond violet flame, and the information that I received was the collective focus and intention of all of us on that particular day had opened up another layer, another level, of energy that was available to us and all of a sudden the creation of the cosmic diamond violet flame dragons they were everywhere incredibly powerful but that was not available prior to this activation to all of us collectively focusing and bringing in this energy so with the events that are occurring at this moment on planet earth it needs very much the focus of all of us light workers to bring in, in as much of this light and as much of this energy as possible and the more of us that do it the more effective it is because we are acting as a single unit now when you call in the cosmic diamond violet flame the lilac fire of source the violet flame the silver violet flame the golden silver violet flame whatever facet of this energy that you want to use just know that your intention, your visualisation, your asking for this to occur is the most powerful facet of it. So I'm using my crystal skull to anchor this energy in. So all you need <clears throat> is a tiny bit of quartz. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can either be your favourite crystal, a piece of quartz, a piece of amethyst is absolutely perfect or any other kind of crystal or stone which you would like to anchor the energy with and you quite literally sit there with it in your left hand and you are calling specifically and directly to Archangel Zadkiel, to Master Saint Germain, to all of the angels of the violet flame and also all of the dragons of the higher cosmic diamond violet flame and any other facets of energy that they represent. And just wait for them to respond to you. You'll feel them instantaneously connect with you. 
It's a very fast process. They are right on hand with us at all times. And ask them, wherever you are, to become an anchor point for the violet flame in whatever facet you wish to use it. So at this point, you and your crystal become an anchor point for the violet flame, which means that energy can connect with you and spread out for as far and as wide as you wish it to. <clears throat> now obviously the more of us that do this, the further and faster this energy activates and anchors. And I suggest doing this for seven days. You don't have to sit outside or meditate on this particular subject for seven days. You set the parameter of energy to last for seven days. So for the sake of example, I'm now calling in the cosmic diamond violet flame of our Archangel Zadkael and Master Saint Germain to anchor it in with me and for me. And I'm asking it to basically pour upon this planet where it is most needed for seven days consecutively without a break and I mean, I mean a global downpouring so in your mind's eye in your third eye visualize you sat where you are connecting to all of the other light workers on this planet in conjunction with the millions of violet flame angels and dragons and ascended masters and watch that violet flame pour in and you'll rapidly see the planet moving from its normal coloration to be absolutely saturated with this energy wherever you are anchor this in and watch the effects that occur and it is a very very positive and very powerful thing to do what we're looking at doing is relieving the pressure it's almost like a stop tap it's like releasing a stop tap and and the pressure is let go. So we're removing a layer of the density. We're rem removing almost like a, a faulty chipboard that is, is implanted within the kind of matrix that is creating and exacerbating certain situations. So do your part today, wherever you are, and just know that this is a massive and incredibly powerful piece of service work. And I've been doing it since last night, so the, the violet flame is it's on the move, it's, it's, um, it's doing its job. I created a crystal grid late last night and I'm, I'm going to post this later on my Facebook page, Tim Wild Practical Ascension. <clears throat> so, wishing you all a lovely Saturday, wherever you are. And um, yeah, get involved because at the moment it's, it's important that all of us are focused on moving this planet to the next phase. It's a very, very... It's a very kind of highly pressurised pocket of energy that we're in at the moment. We're in, um, well, I think we're about halfway into the seven, uh, we're seven days into a 14 day period of cleansing that has been kind of rubber stamped by the Pleiadian High Council. Now, I found this out in the chat on Diana Cooper and I Zoom event last weekend. A lady very kindly said, you know, did you know that this is the first day of the, 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 14 days of purification and I was like no no actually we didn't what perfect timing as usual and so there is this incredible call there is this incredible focus on purifying cleansing and balancing the planet at the moment but of course with anything that like that that occurs there's always those patterns of behavior that kind of yo-yo and resist and push against it so let's make the job easier okay I'm wishing you all lots of love and if there's any questions, please send them to my Practical Ascension page, Tim Wilde, Practical Ascension, I'm on Facebook, or email me at timwilde.com. Tim See you soon. Bye-bye.